Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Word Ann. So I figured I'll just do a, a quick little video here for my original channel, because as promised, I just want to be more frequent with these uploads, where I'll be talking about various topics and whatnot, which I've done, of course, multiple times before. But bottom line, I want to just talk about some stuff here to be more frequent. I will post a link down below for my second channel on Earth as well. Anyway, I just want to talk about the fact that the trans community, I guess, something a bit more specific, I guess, not just the community as a whole, really, but maybe when it comes to trans women, of course. Yes, obviously, trans women are valid, too. Trans men are valid. Both are valid, of course. But I guess to be a bit more specific, it's, of course, in regards of, of course, pregnancy. All right, I'm talking about pregnancy again. I know, I know. It's, it's one of the most common top topics I've spoke about this channel. Anyway, I, I have a like an entire playlist of just this alone. Anyway, point being is that I know a lot of individuals who are really narrow minded would like to use this as, as a way to take stabs towards trans women. Oh, you're not a real woman, you can't give pregnant. You can't give birth or whatever. Which in itself is pretty ridiculous when you think about it. Especially concerning the fact that there's plenty, and I mean plenty, of cisgendered women out there who unfortunately can't give birth themselves. A lot of them are incapable of giving birth. Maybe be, maybe because of genetics? Maybe it's because of cancer? I don't know. Maybe there was some kind of thing that happened. It doesn't have to necessarily be that, or whatever. There's various reasons that could prevent a a cisgender woman from giving birth, maybe, like I was saying, maybe something to do with genetics. Of course, infertile women are just don't have the capability of giving birth. I don't know if that's usually safe for someone who is way more seasoned, maybe someone who is in their 40s to 50s or what have you, but this can occur with someone that's much younger as well, maybe someone in their teens or 20s. As sad as that is, it does happen, of course. Of course, real quick, yes, there's also the intersex or homophobic people, of course, that do exist as well. So, yeah, what about them? Anyway, going more um, over with the whole thing with, of course, age. Age does play a factor here, because as you get older, the woman might not be able to do anything. But anyway, there's also things like birth control, of course. Alcohol, maybe too much alcohol, I mean. Uh, infection, stress. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah. Urine issues, of course, that comes into play. I mean, that, that's just a list. I feel there's many, many problems that can get in the way, of course. And I'm doing plenty. I'm just trying to list off a few things, of course. But anyway, those, those last factors come into play that could potentially prevent a cisgender woman from actually giving birth. And I, knew, and I do mean plenty. And anyway, point being is that I just don't find that really, I find that really stupid. 20 years, the whole getting pregnant means you're less of a woman, which is so stupid. And I mean, yes, there are many trans women out there who do want to get pregnant, of course. They just don't have that capability. I mean, some of them might be okay with it, with, with with that, of course. Some of them might be just accepting, like, fine, if you can't get burned, you can't get burned. What can you do? Why would others would want to? They want to experience having a life growing inside of them and whatnot and have that experience, of course. Some are fine with that and some aren't. They're just, you know, accept as a reality. It just depends who you're talking to. And, yes, this is a topic I've heard about over the years. Oh. Yeah, it's been years and years I've been hearing this for quite some time, so I just find it kind of odd oh, that it took me this long to talk about this kind of a thing. But anyway, I just thought I'd finally get to it for real quick, of course. And yes, this is a subject matter I should have spoken about before, of course. But anyway, so yeah, fertility does decline in age. Uh, of course, and it can happen to people who are younger, as mentioned before. Another thing that could get potentially in the way, yes, weight. Being overweight or being really obese could, re could reduce these chances, of course, 
that can get in the way, obviously. Not only that, underweight. Being underweight could be also a thing as well. So that could be problematic. Not only that, sexually transmitted diseases, of course, can potentially get in the way as well. It could affect it. Again, there's multiple things. There's, a, there's like a whole plethora of things that can potentially get in the way. I didn't do me many. So I never want to steal as to why this is like a stab towards trans women and whatnot. It just seems ridiculous when it comes to think about it. And just, I don't know, not if, and besides that, there are women who are fully capable, cisgender women, I mean, who are fully capable of giving birth. And a lot of these women don't want to have kids. There are plenty of women out there who don't want to have kids. And not only that, maybe some of these women just have one child, and that's it. And maybe some women out there, cisgender women, I mean, who get their tubes tied. That's another thing that could, could get in the way, getting their tubes tied. I'll just get rid of it all together. So that's that's a factor here as well. Yeah, that would slip my mind there. But anyway, point being is that there are plenty of cis women, gender women who never wanted kids to begin with. Maybe they don't want any at all. Despite the pressures from, let's say, people, maybe their friends, maybe their family, or maybe just some family members and whatnot. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought this was kind of weird that a lot of people just, Use this as a way to take jabs at just trans women, which is why you go there. Why do you have bother like this? I don't know. Uh, I know this. I know this. Never many people will, will just make up a reason, of course, and whatnot. Which is act as if like they'll be under attack somehow, which is not true. But anyway, so yeah, I just thought I'd just talk about this for a brief moment since I've, ta I've talked about trans. People before I've talked about pregnancy multiple times before anyway, so here we're at, at again, I suppose. Anyway, let's just finish up here, I suppose. Might as well, I guess. I was saying, I'm just trying to think of a topic to talk about here when it comes to this kind of a thing because I've heard this this stuff, this kind of a thing that like got in the way of when it comes to this type of supporting trans women, or you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't support. Trans women because of this or that, blah, 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 blah. You know, all this stupid nonsense, of course. It's something I've heard multiple times over the years, like I mentioned before. And yes, like I said as well, I should have mentioned this already, but I was better late than never, I guess. Anyway, I just thought I just might as well get this out of the way, I suppose. Might as well get to it. It's close minded and it's as it's, it's bigoted, of course. It's often used just to take jabs out of some group just because you don't like them. Just because you don't like somebody, that in itself is not a reason to to mock somebody. That's just stupid. If you make fun of somebody or criticize somebody, you, you should have a legit reason to cr criticize somebody. It's the individual, not the computer as a whole. And the, the entire community as a whole isn't terrible. I mean, of course, there's going to be some bad eggs. No pun intended, of course. There will be some bad eggs in every group. I also say bad apples. That's probably a better way to say it. There's, of course, there's going to be some bad apples in every group. It does happen, unfortunately. Anyway, that'll be it, folks. Yes, like we were saying earlier, I will post a link down below for my second channel. In the description box, we'll be talking about movies and such. And yes, I will post a link down below for Air Force as well. If you want to see some gaming content. Anyway, yada, 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 so on and so forth. Thanks for watching. And take care. See ya. Oh, yeah.